what's going on everyone beastly gamer here welcome to the beastly gamer channel today i wanted to make uh, kind of an important video for me an update video on what's going on with my life my channel yes this channel is still a thing i am not dead i've just taken an hiatus uh, i got so used to letting this channel sleep just collecting a monthly check for doing very little work and and it, it felt good sometimes it feels good to step away you know i spent so much time uh, with my children you know, I got a one-year-old. Well, she's 20 months now, but uh, I got babies, and and I have little girls, and my sons are in high school, and you know, I, I run a business, and I also have another job, and I got a wife. So, doing YouTube full time had become very burden burdensome to me. It was very heavy on my spirit because I'm a dedicated person. I don't like to half-ass things. I like to do things the right way, or don't do them at all. And so, at some point in in the past, I felt like. I was half-assing real life and going full balls deep into YouTube. And that doesn't work when you have to turn off the computer or the camera and live real life. Uh, when people around you are, are you know, feeling dejected or, or, or feeling like they, they come second to a group of people that I've never seen before. And so it became, I guess, therapy for me to move away from YouTube, uh, I kind of backed out and, and did another podcast, the Revolver Live podcast, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, and took a break from creating videos consistently. And uh, this video, to let you guys know, I'm, I'm going to be doing more videos on the Beastly Gamer channel and other things too, so stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, I've been playing a lot of video games. I've been playing my Switch, you know, everywhere I go, uh, when I'm on break or whenever I'm getting an oil change, I pull up my Switch, you know, I'm playing Resident Evil, playing Skyrim, playing something that I really enjoy playing, and uh, I haven't been talking about video games, I still read all the articles, I still see what's going on in the world, but I just haven't been in front of the camera talking about it, and so I feel like my passion's coming back, you know, sometimes you take a break from something, and then you get that hankering to do it, and I'm starting to feel that way again about YouTube, so basically, the Beastly Gamer channel is going to come back. Uh, I've let it sleep long enough. It's time to wake the sleeping giant. And uh, that's really, for me, some inspirational news. I miss the channel. I miss talking to you guys. I miss reading your comments. And so that's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I've decided to actually go ahead and bite the bullet and do it now. I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about the games that are out right now. Uh, Destiny has become, well, it had become a pretty important part of my life over the last few months. Uh, Kate and I played that religiously every single day for months, uh, leading up until, I want to say, uh, the beginning of August, around that time. Uh, we had some family come to visit from out of town, and when they stayed, Kate and I stopped playing Destiny. We were entertaining company, we were going and visiting places and seeing the sights of the state and the city, and we kind of got out of the, the rigmarole of going to do our milestones and doing our dailies and you know doing the public events, and we just hadn't played. And so we missed about a week. We came back and we looked at each other and I was like, well, you want to play Call of Duty? <laughs> you want to play World War II or something? And, and we started playing other games, playing Overwatch, playing Call of Duty. And we've kind of gotten out of sync with Destiny. And now Forsaken's out. And I hear it's amazing. You know, uh, some of the people I did the podcast with, Wilson was talking about the bow and arrow is the most fun he's ever had in a video game. I've never even tried it. Uh, and so I'm definitely going to be getting that. I'm really excited about it. It might be another week or so. I've been really busy with these new ventures that are going to be coming up in the, the bottom half of the video. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to it. But there's one game I'm getting before I get Destiny Forsaken, and that's called Firewall Zero Hour. What this is is a fully locomotive PSVR game in the vein of 4v4, think uh, The Last of Us Factions and VR. Uh, and what you do is, you, there's different stages, and they look amazing. Uh, and you have the move controller, and it's connected to the aim controller, which is like the gun peripheral. And when you're in the game, you can move around with the controller portion of the, the move controller. So it, it feels natural for console players. You're standing in the middle of a room, but when you see someone, you pull up your gun, and everything you see in the visor is translated into real life and you, you, it's four versus four. And the thing that made me really excited about this reading and, and listening to the reviews on the game 
is that uh, they streamline the technology so that people don't get, you know, the vertigo and the headaches and the nausea of playing VR. They've actually streamlined the technology to work flawlessly with PSVR, and it looks amazing. And so I'm thinking I'll probably pick that up this weekend and play some of that for you guys because it looks incredible. If you haven't seen it, uh, make sure you check it out. It's called Firewall Zero Hour on PSVR. Uh, it might be... It may end up being the best PSVR game out there, maybe besides Resident Evil. So who knows what will happen. That's something I'm super excited about playing. Also, uh, something that people have been asking me a lot about uh, over the last month, month and a half, is what happened with Revolver Live. Uh, Briar Rabbit did a video on Revolver Live in the end of the show. Uh, and uh, I appreciate that. I didn't get around to doing a video. And I had a lot of things on my mind during the end of this, this show. Uh, I worked with Briar Rabbit for... God, five years doing podcasts. We started off with the Beastly Thoughts live show. And uh, when they decided, you know, that they wanted to try something new, I migrated with them and started the Revolver live show. And uh, for a time, it was good. Um, and it worked out really well. You know, I got to meet Gary Diaz and, and Mr. Wilson. And uh, I think I gained some real friends there. And uh, over time, I want to say I feel like with all of us, we started to fall out of love with the whole prospect. You know, we put a lot into it initially. I made a song, you guys know I can't rap. Uh, but we put a lot into it, a lot of effort into it, and, and it was going to be great. But over time, I think that other things took precedent over getting together every Sunday and doing a two hour podcast. And because people are busy, you know, I run a business, I have five kids, I got a wife, I got another job I do. I high school kids all the way down to 20 months old. So I, it's like, very busy. Briar's got his own family, his own life. Wilson, you know, he's got his lady. Gary's got his family. So it was very, very stressful at some points. And then Gary Diaz ended up leaving the show. And I didn't know it would affect me the way that it did. Of course, I think Gary's closer to the other guys on the show, but you guys might not know this. Initially, I was going to be the one leaving Revolver. Uh, I contacted the guys and let them know how I feel. Uh, I even tweeted about it. I, I told them that I didn't feel any connection. There was no bond between us. And, and I, you know, the saddest part, I think, was that Briar and, our, Briar and I had known each other for five years. And I feel like our friendship probably dissolved the most to almost being pitting one against the other, I felt, toward the end. You know, he's a, he's a liberal and I'm a conservative. And sometimes behind the scenes, that kind of stuff came out. And to me, that's probably the saddest part was that, I, you know, I feel like maybe me and Briar toward the end were like, you know, kind of bumping heads because we have two competing ideologies and it's really hard to, to function in that kind of environment. So we lost Gary. Uh, and then after Gary left, I feel like that meaningful bond that I'd spoke about when I, was ready to leave it got worse you know i bought a nice la uh, laptop i bought a nice pc a gaming pc so i could hang with the guys and play games with them but we never i think we may have played a game once maybe twice so i wasn't a part of that group I, you know I, i'm dedicated to other things i can't be dedicated to video games all the time you know i got a family and, and i understand that at the end of my life i'd rather have my family say i spent time with them than twitch <laughs> or you know making a video on youtube so we really, our bond kind of dissolved and um, it's really hard to pretend that you have a bond with people when you only see them for two hours a week and on a Sunday, you know. Um, it, it's hard to pretend that you're chilling with people uh, and hanging with them outside of this two hour period when you're not. And so I started to feel that. I'm sure they started to feel it. We'd get together on Sunday and, you know, Wilson and Gary, they'd be with Briar all week. I can't watch people's streams all week. I can't do it. I've got so many other things going on. We get, you know, time to do the show and they're talking about things that they watch Briar do. And I'm like, ah, I, I just can't be there. I've got too many other things going on. And so that connection uh, really dissolved. And I felt like the show started to turn more into a burden than, than fun. I felt like the, the restrictive atmosphere it began to uh, really cause that division. And with that restrictive atmosphere, it made me kind of see the situation I was in. And it was really time to go. Uh, toward the end, I think I was the one who sent the private message. Uh, and I told the guys, hey, I was doing other things. And, and, and we made maybe a two or three 
messages that went back and forth. And we were like, okay, we're done. We're done. And, and that was that. And um, honestly, I haven't felt better. <laughs> I have not felt better. You know, I've, I've lost uh, 35 pounds. Uh, you know, I'm feeling much healthier. I'm feeling happier. I'm feeling energetic. Uh, I feel like I've dropped a lot of weight, you know. Uh, I feel like the people who I pretended to know, they don't, I don't have to pretend anymore. You know, for the, for the people I did get to know and, and I appreciate those friendships, that whole burden is behind me now. I even uh, rekindled the relationship with the old Beastly Thoughts guys. Uh, me, Robbie, and Not Too Nerdy do a show now. And uh, I've really been enjoying that. We didn't get a chance to do it uh, last week. Robbie was on a date, getting some trim, kind of, you know, threw the whole thing in, into turmoil. But hey, I guess you got to do what you got to do. But, you know, things are looking up. So I want to talk to you guys about the new ventures that are going on with me. And that way you guys can keep up with me and then also stay tuned to what's going to be happening here because there's going to be a ton of new content. I feel it again. You know, it's like uh, if you, you do something, and you do it for a long time, you can get burnt out. And, and my favorite pastime, besides making babies, was playing video games. And then when you play them all the time and, and you're constantly recording your footage to your Elgato, you're constantly uploading footage, suddenly it doesn't feel like fun anymore. Suddenly if you play in a video game and you're recording it and you make a mistake in a game, you feel like the whole footage is, you got to scrap it. It's no longer fun. I got to that point doing YouTube and I, I decided to take a step back. But now I've taken a step back. I've been enjoying video games. I've been playing games. I've been playing my Switch. I've been playing my Yobo. I just been enjoying video gaming and I feel like I did when I first started my YouTube channel now. And so look forward to new content. Uh, there's going to be some new stuff and I've actually started it now. I'm asking you guys for your support. If you support this channel, if you'd like to see me come back with a resurgence of youth like Rock Lee, check out my other YouTube channels. I'm doing a channel with my wife. It's called KNB, K not N, but the and sign, B Mukbang. Mukbang is a Asian word for like an eating show. We're doing a mukbang and it's where Kate and I were going to be sharing a delicious meal in front of the camera. If you're into ASMR, uh, then you might like it. We do it every single Saturday and the video goes up every Monday. There'll be a link below for you guys to click on that channel. I think we got three, three or four mukbangs up for the last couple of weeks and uh, it's pretty entertaining. Uh, you know, one of the shows, the second show was a big botch because we had some technical issues, but it's fun to watch the car wreck. I also started a new channel yesterday. It's called For the Republic. F-O-R-T-H-E Republic. I feel like spelling out Republic. But this is probably, for me, the most meaningful channel I've ever made. Uh, this channel is not going to be about politics ever. This is the Beastly Gamer channel. This I'm going to talk to you guys about video gaming. Sporadically over the years, I've maybe sprinkled in a few topics that had to do with politics. You know, maybe a politician saying that gaming is related to violence and things like that. But For the Republic is my political views on what's going on in the world today. And uh, I am a conservative. I am a black guy, just in case you didn't notice. Uh, I voted for Trump. <laughs> Uh, I love Donald Trump. I love him to death. I think he's the greatest president of my lifetime. And uh, I'm almost 40, so that says a lot. Either I'm crazy or I'm seeing something that some other people aren't. I think half the country is divided on this. But I'm a pro-Second Amendment guy. I think we have a right, a God-given right to defend ourselves and our family. And I am a pro-Constitution guy. And so I see a lot of the things that are happening in politics now. I also see a lot of the corruption that has happened in my point of view over the last couple of years. And uh, that channel is going to shine a light or at least give my perspective, which is kind of a different perspective. You don't meet too many black dudes who, first of all, are Republican or lean Republican uh, who voted for Donald Trump, who love everything the guy does or says. I think it's a godsend to have someone like Donald Trump in the White House. But check out that channel if you, if you like that kind of thing. If you don't, stay away from it. If you if you don't like Donald Trump, you probably don't want to see that channel. If you don't want to hear people say kind things about Trump, you probably shouldn't check out that channel. But if you are, or if you're open-minded enough to hear the perspective of someone and maybe find out why they think the way they, they do, For the Republic is probably a good place to start. Uh, and so there'll be links below for both of those channels. I want you guys to check it out. 
the podcast I do, Beastly Thoughts Live, will still be going on here on the, the Beastly Gamer channel. As soon as Robbie gets back from his, uh, you know, little escapade, we'll be getting started back with that. But I want to thank you guys for staying with me for so long. I can't believe it. Uh, I slowed down doing videos on this channel. I do one or two a month for like the last five or six months. And I still got way more subscribers, you know, uh, than, than I had when I was working super hard. Of course, I know if I continue to work hard, I'd be probably twice where I am now. But it, it kind of drained me, and I'm just being, I'm a regular guy. I'm not a YouTube super personality. I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm a guy who has a vision. I'm a person who has talents that I want to show the world and I have an opinion. And so I want to share that with you guys. And I do want to say once again, thank you all so much for all the years of support for the Beastly Gamer channel. This has been a life-changing experience for me. It's opened my eyes up to so many different perspectives. I want to thank all the guys from the Revolver Live podcast who worked with me for years. No hard feelings. Who knows what the future holds. I, and I wish all those guys all the success in the world. Check out KNB Mukbang if you'd like to see two greedy mofos smashing on Mondays. And check out For the Republic if you'd like to hear my thoughts on politics. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.